Good morning, everyone. Kevin the Toy Smuggler here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about bootleg pirates. And uh, been busy right off the bat today. Uh, got started about six o'clock. Uh, got a whole bunch of uh, He-Man figures. Been cleaning up for Battlegrounds comics and games up here in Dalton, Georgia. You guys see me there many a times. Great store. We got some great and amazing things we're getting ready to do in the next few weeks up there. So please always stay tuned if you're anywhere around here. Please visit that store. Just a great store. Great supporter of the Toy Smother. Guys, you go in there and you find new and vintage stuff. It's one-stop shopping. Keith, morning, brother. How you doing, man? Today, man, I got us a great treat. Jordale, brother. How you doing? Boy, everybody's popping in here today. Man, I wish I could uh, take more time off from work and do more early videos. Everybody's popping on here. And uh, so, guys, I'm trying to get back in the flow and everything. Like I said, I've been about three hours working on. I mean, when I'm talking about... He-Man figures. I'm talking about a pile of he I mean, the box was like two foot cube. So you can imagine. And it was stuffed full and everything. But these pirate guys, I was looking at getting into, uh, everybody knows I'm a big Mego fan. Uh, looking at uh, buying the, uh, the vintage Super Pirates. But just like the Super Knights and the Merry Men, these are extremely expensive figures to collect. They're hard to find. And when you do find them, people are commanding $80 to $100 for pretty roached out figures, if you know what I mean. So uh, I'm down in Alabama, Gulf Shores, visiting my mom about three months ago. That's how long I know. I'm way behind. I go to this gift shop. I'm looking around, you know, the wife and kid looking around. They're, I'm in there bored. Let's, let's get real, guys. I'm already just kind of flowing. And boom, I see toys in the back corner. So, of course, I kind of sneak away from everybody. Glide over there that corner, and I'm looking at all the cool because every once in a while you can find pretty neat looking toys. Bam! Boy, did I find a treasure! I got to looking at these guys, and I'm like, they kind of cheap, they kind of packaging in the world, but man, the the potential of this being great is so close. I mean, it's like, oh, they put somebody hired somebody way back in the day to put a little effort in that. You know? So. So I took some pictures of it and sent it to uh, Holler, uh, Holler Brian, and he confirmed that I was right, that these were made by Lincoln. And I think, great source. If you need to know something about Amigo figure, contact this guy. This guy knows A to Z to everything. Packaging, box stuff, you know, rack toys of anything has got to do with that, that generation. He's the go-to guy for sure. So anyway, he confirmed my suspicion. And then he gives me some uh, another vintage uh, piece of knowledge in uh, history of this thing, they quit making these 16 years ago. So this has been sitting in a gift shop for nearly two decades, people. I mean, and uh, these are really clean, uh, but the dust on these things, these have not been cleaned in 16 years until I got a hold of them. But these were, I got four of them. They supposed to be six of these guys. Show you the backs of them here. And pretty much it came with uh, three captains, and three, I guess, I'm just going to call them henchmen, or whatever, or and stuff like that. And uh, I, I'm looking for these two guys right here. And I didn't even think about it back then because we was rushed to get out. But the next time I go back, I'm going to be asking the story of, hey, do you got more of this crap in the back? Because most of these packages was pretty rough handled. And these were, I got the best four that I can get because I didn't have plan on getting these out of the package, but I think when I go back, if I look up and find the other two captains, I may get me one more set, not because these things go for like 50 bucks a pop on eBay, which is just crazy, so I looked up and found them for a pretty stupid price, so, but I'm thinking about getting another set of these, taking them out, Getting them off these cheapo body if, if the body's as cheap as what I think they are, and putting them either on a Dr. Amigo or classic TV toys body and change the heads and change the costumes over and everything and make a more decent figure out of it. But I, I really don't know how cheap they are. They they feel a little light, even they're still in a package. You you grab a Dr. Amigo figure or the new Migos substantial difference in weight than what I'm feeling right here. But I'm going to see if I can get a close-up shot here. But the accessories that these guys come with, I'm, the, okay, there we go. Now you can start seeing the sculpt on these things. 
a touch of dry brush on these things, man, you, these are going to pop. These are sculpted in great, great detail. Very high quality sculpts there. Like I said, a touch of a dry brush of a little bronze or a, a, a brass even on some of these handles and a little silver on the blades. And uh, the funny, all the henchmen come with the same weapons. We have, uh, I got the, all three henchmen here. That's the yellow shirt guy. And they didn't even bother naming these guys. That was a crazy thing. I mean, they like I said, they they had a pretty decent focus. God, get on my nerves. But uh, they had a decent product here. But for whatever reason, they went a little effort on the pack. Come on, focus in here. My, sorry, guys, my camera. Wake up. There we go. You know, the details on these guys are pretty good. The clothing looks halfway decent on these guys. But all the weapons are the same. Randy Deals. Hey, brother. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's my little guy doing? He, he got you up early this morning. That's my uh, uh, son-in-law and my grandson there joining in with us today. That's pretty cool, guys. Appreciate that. My One of my granddaughters, she pops in every once in a while. So kind of cool to have my grandson popping in. Got, 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 to, get tra got to train him right and everything. But these guys are really cool. And, and the funny thing is, when I seen these guys, I'm thinking I seen them before because I used to go to uh, Myrtle Beach all the time and stuff like that. Love you too, brother. And, uh, and I think I remember as a kid, I might even had one or two of these. It's, it's so that's so long ago, and I, and I think if I did, I probably only got one. And he probably, and I probably, if he was cheaply made, is versus the other Migos, he probably didn't last long with me. Because I mean, I put my Migos through hell and back as a kid. So if these guys were made out of the the cheaper bodies, he probably didn't last about a week. So, but these things seem so familiar. It's those rare toys that you get. You had it for a very short amount of time, and it takes something like this, and it's forty years later. You're trying to recall this. And this guy has the cool peg leg. And the captain I got has the same thing, but it's on the, another different leg and everything. But now the captains are slightly different on the accessories. But And what they do, they have this very similar uh, Bandalore thing here, kind of like the apes had, where you can put a knife. But this was made specifically for the sword. They come with the same pistol. But then he comes with the uh, telescope. And I think that was just a very little cool thing. You know, that's all a captain needed back in those days. The only other thing that I think that would make this guy a little bit neater is I don't, but he may have a belt on the inside. So, I, so the coat may be hiding the other detail there. But all the packaging, the card backs are 100% the same. They're, and like I said, they made two different types of bubbles uh, just for the. Uh, the boat hand guys, and then for these guys, which were probably smart. They didn't want to spend a whole lot of tooling money. Anytime you change these bubbles or change a card, you're going to smaller runs because you because you, know, you got these different figures, and it just starts raising the price. And this being a bootleg, they try to try to go probably as cheap as they could. But even though this is what I'm, I wanted to talk about a little bit more, but look at the graphics here. Uh, considering this was done, let's see, I'm trying to remember the name of the company here, uh, is American Gift Corp. It's A-G-I-F-T Corp. They handle all the, like, East Coast, uh, this is where all the gift shops, buy, you know how you go in every one of those gift shops, they, they all got the same crap, so to speak. This is one of them companies that supplied those other kind of companies and stuff. And the crazy thing is, so if these things will stop being made 16 years ago, we are uh, they probably started getting made a good 20 years. So this was probably right around the late 90s, uh, right around 2000 when these guys probably started coming. Probably just right after Mego closed their doors, these guys probably started coming out trying to catch on. You know, when a company drops, a lot of other companies try to swoop in and try to take over their market, you know, if anything's left at that point. And I think that's what these guys were about and everything and stuff. And then they try to capture on that. But the, the what kills me is looking at these graphics, the, the idea of the graphic is great. The execution is 
they went a little bit more childish. One day, I just might just for the just for the heck of it, I think it might be really cool. One day, is to take this exact same design, scan it into my computer, and then do a new artwork on it and do an oil painting. But everything exactly how you see it here but do it in a hand-drawn oil paint fashion here. I just think that would be truly amazing to see, you know, versus you can call it definitely a kid version. And I would just love to see what I could do for the more adult collector. That way, if anybody has any of these, but they don't have them on card, that way I can have one of these official cards like this, if you want a bootleg version. But if you want the adult version, you know, I'll have the much better looking uh, card up front and everything. So I just wanted to, I just, I just see the potential that they were going for here. But, you know, for a young kid, which that's who they were marketing, they weren't marketing us. You know, we were much younger back then. And you know, marketing between the pretty much the six and 11 year old target market and stuff. And that's who they went for. They made sure the graphics was very child friendly and stuff like that. Because there's nothing, you know, they made it sure they didn't look creepy. And if you go realistic, this can tend to look a little creepy but for us nowadays that would be pretty awesome and everything so but guys i just wanted to share this with you guys it was called the magnificent pirates and if anybody wants me to pick one of you one of these up for you guys please contact me i'm going to be going back and seeing my mom i'll cut you a great deal i'm not here to make a pro big profit off this stuff but if you would like to get a few of these just give me a call and i will let you know how much they are if I buy them, and I, I'll tell you how much, and I'll probably just raise it 20%. Like I said, I'm not here to gouge nobody, plus the shipping and handling, like I said. Because like I said, if you buy these off eBay, they're $50 a pop, and that is crazy. Because technically, as far as quality of figures, they're just not worth that. But they are cool. They look amazing hanging up on the wall. And it, for what you can buy four to six of these, is cheaper than what you can buy one original super pirate and that's how i was looking at it to me these are still vintage even though it's a vintage bootleg and then i got them on card like i said i'm gonna go back try to hunt these other two guys down to complete my run here and i just think you know for right now this is gonna you know take my the edge off my pirate needs and stuff i'm just shocked that these babies didn't sell out and was totally gone because we went 10 years there of Pirates of the Caribbean movies and everybody going to the ocean. I'm shocked that there are any of these left in those stores. I just really am. And uh, if any, if, if they would have named any of these guys Captain Jack, I mean, they should have pulled these things back off and re... I don't know. There, there is so much potential there, but I'm shocked, to, shocked and pleased that they were still on the shelf and everything. Like I said, I just wanted to share this little treasure of a find that I, that I found. And everything, like I said, if you guys want one of these, and please uh, spread around. We're getting close to that 1,000 marker, and boom, I can be able to do a whole lot more things when I can get YouTube working for me, because right now, it's like I feel like I'm working for YouTube. <laughs> it's crazy. So, guys, just spread the news around. Go subscribe to The Toy Smuggler. Check me out on Sexton Creations Facebook. And like I said, more cool stuff to come, guys. Thank you all for joining me. Y'all have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.